here with uh, Caro the Heat Parisian. Caro, you got a big fight coming up. You know, this is the, uh, I guess, your your reintroduction to MMA. You know, you've been away for a little while. You know, we won't talk about all the the rest of the things. You're moving forward. You're looking ahead. What's yeah. uh, what's 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 going through your mind now going into this fight? What you coming out looking to make a statement? You're gonna just get back there and well, reintroduce the heat again. The truth is that I'm trying to come back and just walk in a cage and perform. Okay, I don't give a crap about anything. I gotta walk out and do all these sensations and stuff. You know, I hope everything goes well. I, I, I hope I throw this guy on his head and stuff. But my plan is to walk in that cage and perform. So when I walk out, fans are like, we're, we're satisfied with him. He walked in there and he fought. He's back. It's a slow process. I haven't fought for a year and a half. I had a lot of problems going on in my life. And at the time being, I just want to walk, get my hands up, perform. I mean, I'm shooting for a dominating win. But however the fight goes, I don't care. I just want to walk in there and perform. That's it. Excellent. Now, are you looking for uh, maybe to get like a, uh, a highlight reel, something with an exclamation point, so that you know some of these promotions that are considering you know on the fence about signing you? There's been some talk. Yeah. Scott Coker mentioned you know that, that you had a talk. Said and wrong. St uh, sc What's the listen, truth? What's the truth? Well, then Scott Coker says we had a coffee and didn't work out. Bullshit. We didn't have coffee. We had lunch at the Beverly Wilshire, shirt, mm -hmm. and when I left, he was jumping up and down. He was so excited to sign me. And all these stuff. And, and then to back it up, Jay Glazer and Sam Spira, those guys were there. He was very happy to sign me. And I was very happy to sign with them, but they're the most unprofessional I've ever seen in my life. Strike Force is a very unprofessional organization. They're great guys, but the networks run these shows, not the, not the owners. No disrespect to Scott Coker or Rich that I was talking. They're great guys, but it's just not for me. Excellent, excellent. And you, you don't want to be maybe, you know, tied into something when they're going to misrepresent what, you know, what you're about, what happened. No, no, it's just, it's just not for me. They're just, they think different. And nowhere, even if I fight for Strike Force and I never fight for UFC again, God forbid, nowhere near they will come to the UFC, near UFC. Nobody will. The UFC is the most professional organization I've ever, I've ever worked for seven years. Unbelievable. For sure. Now, have you had any contact with them? Yeah, I talked to Dana. He, Dana called me a few weeks ago. Yeah, I texted him. We talked. And, uh, he, you know, he says, Carl, just get one foot on your belt. Let's just go on from there. You know, Dana likes me, and I did a lot of stupid stuff, man. I really, not even, really went the left field and... It just wasn't worth it, and then they got really pissed. Dana got really pissed because I'm friends with Dana, and he felt disloyal for me. But I just, I just gotta pay it back. I mean, I didn't kill nobody. I, I made some mistakes. I gotta come back and do it, man. Well, obviously, you know the fans have been by your side. There's, you got a lineup here around the corner. You know, you've had people, you know, coming, telling you, rallying for your, to, you yeah. know, show their support uh, for you. They're awesome. What, uh, what has been, you know, has that been kind of what's propelled you to want to just go out there and, and, and get back in there? You know, when people send me fan mail, man, they, they send me on, on, the, on YouTube and MySpace. And the thing is, I say, man, it's like, you know, I owe these people. These people say, you give me a reason to wake up. You got to get in there. It's the, the only reason I watch mixed martial arts. And these are people, man, with regular lives. And when they say this stuff, dude, it really gets to you. Like, dude, all these people really want you to do well. People think that you can be a world champion hands down because of your talent and stuff. So you owe it, you know, to these people. And I'm too young to even think about retiring. Dude, I have so much more to prove. I have so much more crazy techniques to do for these fans. And there's crazy fights to show. So I'm nowhere near retiring. I'm going to fight as much as I can and eventually get that title in my waist. And it's got to happen. I don't give a fuck what anybody does. For sure. Now, uh, training-wise, has this... Uh you know, you've talked before about with, with the anxiety and stuff. You kind of were with Greg Jackson for a while. Then you switched, you know, working with different people. What's uh, What's been the training like for this this fight? Who are you training with? Uh, training with uh, McCarthy. John McCarthy is about 50 minutes away from me. I go to their guys. I know a lot of their guys I've worked with before. I work with them. I work with Randy a little bit uh, at in Vegas. So I'm just training, man. Just trying to get in fair shape for this fight to get out there and perform. Um, I just need to get in good shape. I just got to get my life back on track like I used to when I was just training and fighting. And that's what I'm doing now. Sure. Just trying, you know, it's a slow process because I'm coming from a big dent, but I'm trying to straighten that dent out right now. It's an uphill climb. You know, you probably a, had to, it's like I dug a hole. At yeah, first, right? yeah, I, I dug a hole really deep and I'm crawling out, but I never give up. You know, I'm doing fine. I'm going to get there eventually. Excellent. I appreciate you taking the time, man. Thank We're looking you. forward to the fight. So we can watch the fight on pay-per-view, I hear. Yeah, it, July 10th, the fight that they showed on the 17th. 
uh, it's gonna they're gonna show me and the guy I'm fighting and Josh Barnett and the guy he's fighting. And then on the 17th card is Kel Coleman and Shamrock fighting. It's all this big stuff, so they're gonna show it on that. Now have you? Uh, last question is. Looking at the card, you know, some people have said, well, these are all kind of the UFC misfits. You know, you got like yourself, Josh Barnett, you got guys that have, I guess, maybe been through some controversy. Did that, did that go through your mind? No, you know what I mean? No, they're looking at the fact that they're all guys that have been, you know, had some controversy. Did that go through your mind? Like, yeah, oh, man, listen, you know, I don't want to be associated, or did you? You don't even think about that. I kind wasn't of stuff. losing my fights, and they kicked me out of the UFC. Whether you want to ex call it boring or exciting, I'm coming off a win against Dong Young Kim. <laughs> Still coming off a win after this, you know, bullshit but what I'm trying to say is that uh, that nothing man I'm not I wasn't a bad fighter I just had some drama and I had a personal thing going on Dana got pissed and he said you know you go you can't fight right now Carl that's what happened nothing major I didn't have any problems with anybody you know it's not a that big of a deal if you're an accountant nobody would have even known about it people exactly. go through life problems Dude, people go through stress I mean, well, it's because, because yeah, yeah it's because your it was, house they're gonna find out and oh. when it happened too you know it was like right before the event which kind of made it even worse was, yeah, AOL first place blew up man it was embarrassing for me but what can I do you know there's only so much a man can do but I can always make good for it I can always try and make it better you know, and I, I appreciate all the fans, man. They're, they're, they've been awesome. And I apologize to all the fans that I, you know, should have done better and should have done, you know, whatever. Just give me another chance. I'm trying my best. Just a true fan always stands next to me, you know. Awesome, awesome. Well, hopefully you can get back on track, Carol. Thank you for taking the thank time you. again. And CagePotato.com. CagePotato.com, baby.